Investment banking and management consulting are two of the most sought after careers in the business world and compensation is a huge reason why and today I'm going to go over how much you can expect to make in each of these two fields. If you're new here, welcome to Rare Liquid Careers. My name is Ben and everything that I do on this channel is ultimately to help you land your dream job. As a bit of background, I used to work at JP Morgan as an investment banking analyst for a few years. I also worked at Deloitte and have a ton of friends in both investment banking and consulting. Spoke with a lot of them in order to help make this video. Looking at today's agenda, I'll first be going over investment banking compensation. I'll then go over management consulting compensation. And lastly, I'll be comparing the two. All right, now jumping straight into it, let's first go into investment banking compensation. In case you're unfamiliar with the hierarchy in banking, it goes from analyst to associate to vice president to director to managing director, and it takes two to five years before you can get promoted at each level, depending on the firm and your performance. Analysts are hired straight out of undergrad and associates are either direct promotes or hired from MBA programs. And I'm actually getting an MBA at Wharton starting this year. So feel free to check out this video if you wanna learn more about how I'm preparing for the journey. All right, so now we're gonna be going into compensation, but two things I need to mention before going into it is that first, your bonus varies widely and depends on performance and the bank you work at. Second, pay is usually lower at bulge bracket banks, which are the largest in the world, versus elite boutique banks, which still work on really large and the best deals, but have much less people so everyone gets paid more. Now going into compensation, starting with analysts, most at bulge bracket banks these days are paid $110,000 in their first year, $125,000 in their second year, and $135,000 in their third year. And bonuses range widely depending on performance, as I mentioned earlier. And this results in a total compensation range of $140,000 to $235,000. Elite boutique banks are a lot more secretive about their compensation, so bonus information wasn't possible to find. But I did speak with some friends in banking to get a range for first-year analysts from $175,000 to $225,000, and then for second years, $200,000 to $250,000. Next, for associates, the standard base salary across all bulge bracket banks is $175,000, and this jumps by $25,000 each year. And so including bonuses, your compensation can range anywhere from $275,000 to $500,000 in your associate years. Then for elite boutiques, you're paid notably higher from $350,000 to $800,000. And as you get more senior, compensation increases exponentially regardless of bank, but there also is more separation between bulge brackets and boutique banks as well, as you can see here. Next, for vice presidents, compensation is more variable across all banks, but base salaries are around $275,000 for the first year, and then it increases by $25,000 each year. And so including bonuses, compensation ranges from $475,000 to $825,000 at bulge brackets. Then at elite boutiques, compensation is again notably higher, ranging anywhere from $550,000 to $1.25 million, which I know sounds crazy, but these high-end ranges were directly from some of my friends. Last are directors who at bulge bracket banks earn base salaries starting at $375,000 to $425,000. And with bonuses, total compensation can range from $725,000 to $1.175 million. Then at Elite Boutiques, the range goes from $900,000 to $1.7 million, and you actually see a decent number of senior bankers move from bulge brackets to Elite Boutiques because the pay is so much better. In case you wanna compare everything I just discussed, here is the compensation for all four levels, which you can pause to take a look at if you want to. I know these compensation figures are pretty insane, and if they got you interested in investment banking, then I have the perfect resource for you. Wall Street Prep has been around since 2004 and they train interns, new analysts and employees at all of the top banks, private equity firms and other Fortune 500 companies in the world. They offer a ton of different courses that can help you get prepared for pretty much any investment banking interview. But the two I particularly recommend are the accounting course if you don't have prior accounting knowledge and the premium modeling package, which goes over all the key valuation concepts I learned in banking like DCFs, comps, accretion dilution, and LBOs. I dug through the premium modeling package myself and I can assure you that if you take the course, you won't just be ready for investment banking interviews, you'll be ready to work at a bank. To give you some further reassurance, Andrew was in the same analyst class with me at JP Morgan, and he is now working at Wall Street Prep, which speaks to me a lot about how much they care about talent. So if you're interested in a course at Wall Street Prep, highly recommend them and definitely use my code RARELIQUID to get 20% off of any course. And I'll leave a link down and all this information in my description down below. 
All right, now next up, let me go into management consulting compensation. Starting with the hierarchy, consulting is a lot more variable than banking as you can see here, and each firm has different titles as you progress. But similar to banking, the initial position is hired straight out of undergrad and not as many are promoted directly. And instead, after a few years, many get their MBA degrees. For consulting compensation, I wasn't able to get detailed information for every single level that was accurate enough. So instead, we're gonna be just going over the entry level after undergrad and also the post MBA level, but we'll be going into a lot more different firms. Starting with the entry level position after undergrad at the top three firms, McKinsey, Bain, and BCG, also known as MBB, Salaries range from 90,000 to 100,000. Performance bonuses range from 18,000 to 30,000. You also get a signing bonus of 5,000 and then relocation costs of 5,000 to $10,000. As a result, in your first year, the total compensation can range anywhere from $121,000 to $145,000. Then for tier two and big four consulting firms, Everything ranges widely, and so you can pause to take a look at the different companies if you want, but the total compensation, including everything, goes from as low as $80,000 to as much as $140,000. Next, taking a look at post-MBA salaries at MBB, your base salary is $175,000. Bonuses go from $35,000 to $41,250. Signing bonuses are $30,000, and relocation bonuses are from $8,000 to $10,000. As a result, in your first year after your MBA, your total compensation is usually around $250,000. Next, for tier two and big four, again, there's a ton of variability and you can pause to take a look at the figures, but the punchline is that your total compensation will be about $200,000 to $250,000, given that some of these figures here also include PhD compensation, which usually will result in more pay versus MBAs. What's not included in all of these compensation numbers are the perks, which provide a lot of value for consultants. And based on conversations with my friends at MBB, they can include things like dinners while working up to $50, flight and hotel status and points, fancy team events, temporary work at other firms, and paid leaves of absences. If learning about the compensation for banking and consulting has gotten you intrigued and you wanna learn more about what you do on the job, I've created videos covering both industries and I've also interviewed my friend who worked at Morgan Stanley and BCG and I'll leave a link to these videos down in my description. All right, now last up, let's compare the two industries side by side. For this, we'll only be comparing the entry level and MBA positions for the top three banks and MBB since there's so much variability. One thing I didn't mention earlier for banking was that you do get a signing bonus in the range of 10K to 15K for analysts and 50K to 75K for associates. Comparing the entry level positions in banking, you can expect total comp to be anywhere from 150K to 205K, while for consulting, the compensation ranges from 118K to 145K. Then for the post MBA level, in your first year, banking ranges from 325K to 475K, while for consulting, the range is from 248K to 256K. And so the main takeaway is that you get paid a lot more in banking and the range is a lot wider depending on performance. But of course, in banking, you're also working many, many more hours. So that's something to consider as well. If you wanna actually learn more about the toughest experiences I had during my time as an analyst at JP Morgan, feel free to check out this video right here. If you wanna see the resume and cover letter that got me into JP Morgan, you can also find that at rareliquidcareers.com. Feel free to check that out. A link is down in my description. And also as a friendly reminder, if you're interested in recruiting for investment banking and you wanna beat out the competition, make sure to check out Wall Street Prep. Use my code rareliquid to get 20% off of any course. And with that said, that concludes the video. I hope you guys all found this helpful and interesting. Hope to catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much and peace out.